This month marks a critical period for Pita Lim Jarun Rat, the former leader of the Move Forward Party, who came close to become Thailand's 30th Prime Minister. He faces accusations of holding a stake in a media company in violation of the electoral law. An equally serious threat to Pita's political career and that of the main opposition political party are charges related to their advocacy for amendments to the Les Majesty Law. Undoubtedly, the outcomes of the two cases will have a far-reaching ramifications for the Move Forward Party and Thai politics. In May 2023, Reung Kai Likit Watana, a political activist from the Palang Pacharat Party, filed a petition accusing Pita Lim Jaren Rat of holding 42,000 shares in ITV, a private media company. The Constitutional Court took up the case and subsequently ordered Pita to be suspended from performing his duty as a member of parliament, pending a ruling on the charges against him. The court's order has put an abrupt break on the young politician's meteoric rise, which at one point saw him as a wage of clinching Thailand's top executive post. ITV, in an interview with Thai PBS World, Pita expressed confidence that he has enough evidence to clear himself in the case. He presented his final testimony on December 20th, and the Constitutional Court is set to deliver its ruling on January 24th. Of course, Pita is not the first Thai politician to face just a political predicament. The businessman turned politician recalled that there has been politicians in the past who have made a political comeback after being absolved of charges against them. On the legal front, I'm confident of, of my evidences uh, professionally and, and personally. And my case is not the first case. Uh, there have been cases and cases and cases in the last uh, parliamentary session, maybe 60 or 70 of them, if you uh, Google up, you see. And you, you see people who passed the test and who, or people who didn't pass the test. Pass the test means they returned to the parliament. Uh, didn't pass the test, uh, they got disbanded. Pita also expressed confidence in the justice system and offered his supporters an insurance that he has put up a good fight. The company didn't have any registration uh, as a media company, or maybe just changed abruptly. Uh, no, no source of revenue, uh, doesn't have any license. Uh, various various uh, ruling styles uh, what, I gave, what I gave was just a few examples, but if there is justice in the country and use law and use those kind of uh, hearing that allowed uh, the incumbent or the government at the time, majority, that could uh, go ahead with their duties, I'm confident I'll be returning to the parliament, and if not government house one day. Pita, who was the time 100 next list of young global leaders to watch, became a leader of the Move Forward Party in 2020. The party was reincarnation of the Future Forward Party, which was disbanded after its leader, Thana Thon Jung Rung Rung Kit, was disqualified as an MP after being found guilty by the Constitutional Court on similar charges. Pita led the Move Forward Party into the 2023 election on a platform of amending the controversial Les Majesty Law on the grounds that it has often been used by those in power as a political weapon against their opponents. His critics, however, see the move as an attempt to undermine the country's constitutional monarchy. A week after the May election, a petition to halt the Move Forward Party's attempt to amend the law was filed and was taken up by the Constitutional Court, which is expected to issue a ruling on January 31st. 
a ruling against Move Forward would prohibit the party from pursuing the amendments and would open the way for the election commission to consider whether it constitutes an offense serious enough that the party should be dissolved. What is the last Sehan reporting for Thai PBS World?